at times needed a five in the, in the defensive third. Um, you know, I thought the end of the first half, we were more aggressive out of the five and made, made it more of a three, which is what we wanted to do with the wing backs releasing and then rotating around. And, you know, I just thought the first 20 minutes, uh, we were too tentative. You know, we basically left a five versus their three, which meant we never got pressure on the ball. And that was not what was meant to happen. Sean Donahue, Revolution Recap. Can you just talk about the decision to start Earl Edwards over Eric Ravis and both night? Yeah, you know, I, I've said it. You know, Ra Ravis has been inconsistent this year. I think everybody's seen it. Um, Earl played one game. He, you know, I thought he looked good and was confident. Um, Ravis was gone for, you know, 11 days, didn't play at all as well. So we just thought it was the right thing to do. We have a lot of games here coming up. So, um, you know, doesn't mean necessarily that Earl was the starter. It's just we felt like that was the right decision for this game based on, you know, the scenario. Marcelo, we're going to meet in the what do you What do you need to do to make a change of this uh, MLS and uh, Champion Cup? You know, It'd help if they didn't put the tournament to start the season. <laughs> it would help. Um, but is what it is. You know, we're playing a game every three days when we're not fully fit and in form. You know, and we don't have the roster. You, you saw they brought in guys off the bench that were DPs in MLS. Ryan Rodriguez, or, you know, was a DP. Um, you know, and so... You know, that's difficult. You're playing a team that can manage, basically, um, the window a lot better than we can. Uh, Nathan Robillard with the Blazing Musket. How do you uh, go about treating the return trip to Mexico? Uh, you still have to obviously travel out there. Um, what, what are you expecting out of the trip and how are you going to kind of go about it? Um, we got to win this next game in the league. So that's what we're focused on right now. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do down 4-0 going on the road at Azteca. You had fun from Football Cafe. Absolutely, it's a disappointing result. But is there anything, at least, at least one thing positive that you can take from this game? Um, not really. No, no. I mean, we lost the game 4-0. Um, you know, there were periods where... I thought we were there doing the right things and um but you know no I don't think there's many positives you can find in a 4-0 loss they were like I said they were the better team um we knew it was going to be a difficult game we weren't naive at all uh on on the caliber of this team the talent of this team um I said it one of the best teams that our players will ever play And, you know, we got humbled today. Coach in here, Ricardo Vaquera from, from Fox Sports Mexico. Uh, was there anything in particular that surprised you from Club America? Were they even better than what you expected? No, they weren't better than I expected. No. Um, clinical. You know, clinical. Even when you look at the first two chances, they were goals. You know, so I think yeah, maybe they had three clear chances in the first half, you know, and two of them were goals. So I think just the quality, um, you know, in and around the box, you know, to finish and make plays and, and punish us, you know, because I, I, I didn't think the game was 2-0 in the first 15 minutes the way it was going. They had a lot of the ball, but they scored on their first two chances, you know, so – Very, very good quality out of their team everywhere, everywhere. They're, it's like having 11 DPs on the field. They, they essentially have 11 DPs. Okay, with that, we put an end to the press conference. We thank the coach. Thank you, coach. Thanks. Thanks.